Hi, this is Ann from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to open a zip file on a Mac. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm out here on designbundles.net and I'm in the plus section. Now pretty much everything that you buy on Design Bundles and a lot of other sites are going to download as a zip file. Zip files are a really common way of boxing up multiple files. The files are all put together inside a folder and then the folder and files are compressed into one file and that can save hard drive space and it just kind of makes it easier to work with too. Okay, so I'm going to download this file from the plus section and I'll just show you how it works. I'll click here to download again. This will normally just say download and then I'll choose download now. You can see that the file right here ends in .zip, which means that it's a zip file. And when I do this, it comes right over here to the bottom left if you're using Chrome. So I'm going to click this little arrow and choose show in finder. And when you do that, it'll take you to your downloads section most of the time. You can also get to your downloads by hitting Option Command L on your keyboard. And you have to be clicked on the finder, which is this little blue and white icon right here for that to work. So let's open this zip file. I'm going to double click. And you'll notice that something popped up and then it created this little folder. And inside are different files. And these are the files that we can use in Cricut Design Space, Adobe Illustrator, and a lot of different programs. Another way to open a zip file is to right click and then choose Open with Archive Utility. So we'll do that and it'll just create another copy of that. I want to show you one more way of opening a zip and that is to click on it and then just hit Command O on your keyboard and that will do the same thing. Now sometimes in a zip file you might find folders and files so you can just click through and navigate to the one you want and then that's it. You can use it just like any other file. So it is that easy. It's so easy to use zip files. All right if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this just hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right I'll see you in the next video. Thank you!